Norton farmers, welcome back to Chipping Norton. Now, today is seeding day, and if we look at the calendar, yeah, we've got to get it all done, because I want to put some wheat in, because I want to get the straw off it, and obviously, we then have the wheat coming in to our little facility on the farm. We're making some flour with it. Oh, that, that's the plan, anyway. But the only problem with that is we've got one day to do it, and the seeder that I have is a six meter. So, I'm going to go and get something a little different. Well, a little new anyway. I say a little different. Actually, where's my tractor? Oh, there it is. I'll walk right past it. So, I'm going to go and get a little bit of a change up on it. I'm going to take in my cedar and I'm going to get something new. Well, new to the farm anyway. We'll put it that way. And uh, I'll see you at the shop and I'll show you what I've gone for. And here we go. This is what I've gone for. So, I've got for the... Cedar on the back, the Lemkin Solitaire 12. Oh, 12 meter. That's like double the width we had before. That's all right. And then we've got the supplementary seed box on the front. Oh, I'll just open these work together, actually, because I didn't really consider that one. Up. <laughs> I, well, I bought the cedar and I've rented the seed box now. <laughs> I'm not quite sure whether these are going to work together, so that could be a bit of an issue. But all right, we'll load it up and we'll see if it carries on. Uh, i got a feeling it's not going to let's have a look actually go in to see the year it does seed okay there's three thousand gone in oh no we could be all right actually what about if we go on the front bit we'll open the cover there you are so this old the cedar itself only i was like five thousand so if that goes above that then the seed box is working he just hasn't got the pipe out like it normally would do but all right fair enough so that's that. It's all good. Oh, now we could be all right. I'm all right. I have 5,800. What if we, uh, what if we put the rest in the front? Oh, there you are. There you are. We got 6,000 in. Right. Let's get to the field. So it's on wheat. That's what we want to put in. Because obviously we want to get the straw off the cows. We'll get cracking then.
so that's the seed done. Oh, excellent, the wheat is in. I must admit, that was a good, a good swap out. The 6 to the 12, 6 metre to the 12 metre, that was a great swap. I mean, it's like 10 to 2, all the seeding is done. I mean, we had to get it done today anyway, because, you know, we can only plant it in March for the wheat anyway, unless I wanted to wait till September. Oh, was it September? Let's have a look. Yeah, September. I didn't want to wait that long. We'll get it in and we want to harvest before then. So, yeah, we've got it in, in one month. Oh, excellent indeed. Now, I need to go and have a look at the cows. Because, obviously, you know, they do get through that food pretty sharpish. So, I need to see how much is still in my little TMR facility. See how much they've got. I mean, they should have a little bit left. I'm going to say a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to have a look. So let's go and have a look in here. Actually, let's park this cedar up. I need to get some more storage, to be fair. I mean, you've got stuff just littered everywhere. I mean, I've got a sprayer I haven't used yet. I mean, I've got a planter I haven't used yet. Although, to be fair, that... Yeah, that's tiny anyway. That's not really going to cut it. But, I mean, that sprayer... I'm not sure whether I need to keep it or not. I mean, if you plough the fields out, you don't get any weeds. So, hmm, okay. Then we'll take a look at that. At a later date, but all right, on to the cows. Let's be having a look at you. How you doing, my little beef burgers? Now they are just there, stood there chilling. All right, fair enough. So let's have a look. How much food you got in? Zero. Oh no, 812. 812 litres of TMR still in there. All right, fair enough. What's in here? Uh, we have got four and a half thousand. So yeah, we can put a so half a tray there. I mean, four and a half thousand. Yeah, it's going to keep them going for a bit. Maybe we should keep them going overnight. So they're not going to starve. So that's all right. There we are. So we'll empty the facility. Pull it around. Oh, we've got plenty of strawberries on the go. We need to sell those at some point. So we'll bang that in there like that. And we'll give the cows some feed. And they can be happily munching away. And producing me some milk. Let's see how much milk we've got in there as well. I think I've got to go look at that facility as well. Oh, it's all it's all going on. It's all going on. Right, so milk. Four thousand litres. I will leave that for now. Let's see, how's me uh how's me there you are, how's me cheese doing? We've got six hundred there. There's probably a few pallets knocking around, but we'll leave that. We'll leave that for now because we need to put some feed back into our TMR mixer. So here we go. With me bale handling abilities. This is going to be interesting. Now last time. Did we put. Two bales of straw in. I'm going to put one. If I put one of everything in. I'm going to put straw in first. And then hopefully. It won't get stuck. Like it did last time. Well we'll soon find out. So we'll put this one in. Ooh, watch out. Watch out for the. <laughs> there they are. Oh, yeah, it's like I've been practicing. Well, I haven't, mind you, but all right. <laughs> dear, oh, dear. So I put this in. All right, so that's your straw. Okay. No, don't want to go like that. There we are. That's better. So we'll give a little bit closer. We just hook it over the edge. Then that can... Like that. There we are. Pull back. And it's in. Ah, and it's... It's stuck. All right, that's uh Well, if we give it a little bit of a nudge. Get down! Get down! <laughs> it's oh, we've got one stock. Is it in there? Oh, it's in there. No, it's all right. It's all right. It's in there. So what else do we need to put in? So we've got hay. Oh, we just need to put one load silage in. It's just there because it's full up for the rest of it. All right, fair enough. Let's go get ourselves a silage bale. We've got to slide it down the front or the back like we did before. But that's... Well, I'm saying it shouldn't be a problem because these aren't as big as the hay bales. So it should be alright. Oh, I can't see where I'm going. There we are. So we've got ourselves a silage bale. In it goes, like that. Oh, we're cooking. We're cooking with gas now. Look at that. Oh, it's like a professional. <laughs> oh, wow, easy. And he went into that fence. I've done that a few times. 
Right, so here we are. I reckon we'll go... We'll go out the front. Seems to be a little bit more space. So, oh, there we are. There we are. Lower it down. Pull back. And it's in. Oh, it's in. Right, so that should be chugging away nicely. I mean, it's got five and a half thousand litres of silage in there. Ah, we'll see what it's like in the morning. But that being said, though, we've got the seed in the ground. We've got some TMR mixing up. The cows have been fed. That's been an all right day. Oh, excellent. I'm going to have a bit of an early finish then. Why not? If you've enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. Whilst you're down there, why not hit the join button? Come join us on Andy's farm. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's muchly appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.